He spent the night there, and from what he had with him, he selected a gift for his brother Esau, 200 female goats and 20 male goats, 200 ewes and 20 rams, 30 female camels with their young, 40 cows and 10 bulls, and 20 female donkeys and 10 male donkeys. He put them in the care of his servants, each herd by itself, and said to his servants, go ahead of me and keep some space between the herds. He instructed the one in the lead, when my brother Esau meets you and asks, to whom do you belong and where are you going and who owns all the animals in front of you? Then you are to say, they belong to your servant Jacob. They are a gift sent to my Lord Esau and he is coming behind us. He also instructed the second, the third, and all those who followed the herds. You are to say the same thing to Esau when you meet him. And be sure to say, your servant Jacob is coming behind us. For he thought, I will pacify him with these gifts I am sending on ahead. Later when I see him, perhaps he will receive me. So Jacob's gifts went on ahead of him, but he himself spent the night in the camp. That night, Jacob got up and took his two wives and his two maidservants and eleven sons and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had sent them across the stream, he sent over all his possessions. So Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him till daybreak. When the man saw that he could not overpower him, he touched the socket of Jacob's hip so that his hip was wrenched as he wrestled with the man. Then the man said, Let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man said, What is your name? Yeah. Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with men and have overcome. Jacob said, Please tell me your name. But he replied, Why do you ask my name? And then he blessed him there. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, It is because I saw God face to face, and yet my life was spared. The sun rose above him as he passed Peniel, and he was limping because of his hip. Therefore, to this day, the Israelites do not eat the tendon attached to the socket of the hip, because the socket of Jacob's hip was touched near the tendon.